Hi, it's Linz from Sweet Natured, and today we're taking a look at the Fitzroy Hotel and its direct connection with the Titanic. As always, I'm joined by Marky. Hello. Hello, who put the video together, and this is my first time watching, so let's see what we can see. So we're taking a look at the five-star Fitzroy Hotel in Russell Square, London, Lens. Ooh, a bit fancy. It is very fancy. Very, very elegant from that sort of bygone era. It was first built in 1898. They don't make them like this anymore, do they? They don't. The, if you look at what sort of is there, the mosaics, the marble, you can tell it was built at the end of the Victorian era. <laughs> yeah. uh, it is a stunning hotel. It actually opened in 1900, so it's 122 years old at the point that we went. And was originally, until very recently, called the Russell Hotel. Because it overlooks Russell Square. Yeah. Another interesting fact, not just cruise related, but the Russell University Group, which includes Oxford and Cambridge, mm -hmm. is called the Russell Hotel Group because this is where they had their first meeting to discuss creating a group. Nice. I know. Fact. Hotel <laughs> fact. <laughs> Hotel fact. Well, Thank you. We stayed here on a recent trip to London. Because we wanted to stay somewhere cruisy. They obviously want a cruise ship in well, middle of London. There's the hotel near the O2 that's a... There's a Yacht. There is. I think it's the Seabourn. No, Sir John. Anyway, there's a hotel. Ben and David stayed there. They didn't like it, so we stayed here. We I did. think Ben and David will like it here. Now, the reason that this is called the Fitzroy mm -hmm. is because it's named after the architect who built it, Charles yes. Fitzroy Doll. And people might think, well, what's that got to do with cruising? <laughs> As you can see, very, very elegant. You go back to that bygone era of cruising, the white star lines. Very Titanic. elegant. Lean against the bar. <laughs> Lean against the bar. Where, where's elegant. the bar, people? Um, you've got real olive trees in here with actual olives that you, I guess, could eat. I don't, don't know how much they'd like we it if you started pick picking we them. Pick we, didn't, we didn't pick one. No, we were good. But the designer who built this also built the first class, designed rather, didn't yeah, actually build designed the first class dining room on the Titanic. Yes, and this was an inspiration. Well, it's almost identical. I, I mean, we'll never know for sure. Well, we will to a degree because I looked at the pictures when I put this video together. <laughs> oh, you're so <laughs> thorough. I know. Uh, so it is nearly identical. It's got even these little... Even to the water. Yeah, even <laughs> for the water leaking in. That side was meant to have water leaking in. That's an outside area. This bit's covered oh, and therefore down. less we water. Really that went down very quick. Let me have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll come on to the, the other sort of Titanic links a little bit later on. But it is a truly, truly stunning hotel. As you can see. If we could just take a couple of seconds to invite you to subscribe if you've not done already. Thank you if you already have done. And if you could hit that like button and the notification bell, that way you'll know when something new comes out. We'd love to get to 10,000 subscribers over this next year. And if you can help us, it is free to press that subscribe button. And thank you, we know it's faffy. We but, do. But thank you. Back to the video. Ooh. Before we come on to the, the dining and the other Titanic bits, should we have a look at the room? Yes, yeah. Now, as you even walk down the corridor, you, you've got massive. these old sort of ropes, uh, which would have been used at, not during this hotel's point, but you would ring for the servants to bring you things. But it is an absolutely stunning designed hotel. This is a completely standard room. Yes. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's London size, isn't it? It's, it's not huge. No. But it's, it's lovely. It, incredibly. We overlook part of the road and then uh, the Russell Square Park at the side of us. All the modern conveniences that you would expect. Hotel, uh, sorry, in the hotel, you've got the TV which you can stream to. Yes, yes, uh, we it's did. Got, it's got apps on there and everything else that you'd need from there. A gorgeous bathroom, which very kind of you to open that door, Lance. <laughs> oh, I try. Um, yep, yeah, it's look at that shower, wowzers. No. Uh, curtain cuddle in here no just a, a nice big solid door rainforest shower really lovely sort of soaps and shampoos they, they'd had their own scents designed and it's from a perfumer who also does a lot of uh, hollywood's uh, celebrities perfumes wow so when someone makes a new perfume I don't look that's very good, impressed there, do I? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're wanting to get down to the bar at that I point. I know, I think I'm just wanting to get organised. 
And I'm, am I stopping you getting organised? Yes, filming? you are. You are, as per. You can see, big king size bed. As you'll see on the scroll at the moment, it is located right on Russell Square, which, if you know that, that's less than a minute walk to the nearest tube. We were in Bloomsbury, so you've got all the the British Museum there. We've all British Museum, five Covent minutes walk Garden. away. Covent Garden. Covent Garden's only ten minutes away. If you need to be in central London, it is perfectly located. Yeah. Usual bits and pieces that you would expect in the room, say... Teapot, teapot. Teapots, kettles. Little fridge, little milks. Little milk in a carton. Plenty of space for putting your stuff in. We had to put a suitcase on top, so the one you can't put it under the bed. But ample if you stay in there a few nights. Yeah, I mean, that's it. It's not like a, a main week, two-week holiday space. You need, oh, here no. we go. We're going on an adventure. We are. On Look a Titanic connection one. And that's not just this one little bit, that's the staircase no, is all Marble the way up Palooza. and down. The carpets are stunning. But at the bottom of these stairs there, you got a little dragon. This dragon's called Lucky George. He is. He's called Lucky George because Charles Doll, uh, Charles Fitzroy Doll, did two versions of that dragon. That one, which stayed in the hotel, yeah. and the other one, which went on the Titanic. That was Unlucky George. That was Unlucky George. We're going dark again. We are. So <laughs> you can see why. But what you could see is that people used to sort of touch it, it as you go past. It, it, you could see where we're getting worn a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So the main dining room. So this is the one that um, Fitzroy designed. And it's the one that is almost identical to the first class dining on the Titanic. Even including the sort of little statues and stuff that you'll see up on the roof. Obviously it's got more modern furniture in now. And the, yes. Yeah. Uh, and the food's better. But the actual dining room design, this is the closest, unless you invent time travel, that you'll get to be on the Titanic. I mean, we went early doors, didn't we, for, for dinner? Um, and because we were meeting people later on for drinks. But it it was a beautiful restaurant. I see the menu, they, they even had a pre-theatre menu. They did. It's a, it's a steak and a seafood restaurant, a, a, a grill, really good choice of wines. They didn't have a cocktail list as such, but no. they said to us, any cocktails you want, we'll go get from the cocktail bar next door. Yeah. Uh, so we got a martini and a Negroni. Yes, classy. Yeah. That's me without my glasses on trying to read the menu. That's it. Oh. Now, he did ask me whether I wanted lemon or an olive. I said olive, and he said bravo, as though that was the right choice. As you can see. <laughs> That's you struggling without your glasses on. Uh, lovely bread. I mean, it's it's nice bread. It's not Cunard veranda bread, but it, but it was nice bread. Yeah. I mean, I don't think any other bread's that bread. <laughs> Some lovely oysters. You've got the, the really nice tuna. Tower. Tuna tower with fresh guacamole and onions and all sorts of... They were really tasty. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the steak tartare. Yes, you did. Which were really good. Yeah, I had a little bit of that as well. And that was you liked really, that one, didn't you? It did. Now... Yeah, I, I would have had that as a main. What then did you I... got the calves liver. I did, I was trying to remember what I had. With some fancy mashed potatoes. Like but basically, that. it's liver and mash. <laughs> 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 Which is, you know, uh, as northern as is what we were brought up on when we were kids. <laughs> yeah. But that was slightly better than what we got as kids, I think. Just a wee bit. Oh, look at my little face. You, Love it. You're very, very happy with that, weren't you? Yes, yeah. And then you got... A fish. <laughs> I got a fish. I got the Dover sole. Yes, you know, to keep that Titanic theme alive. <laughs> and, then, and then, look, it's a circular pudding. No, from, it's not a sphere. But it's it. circular. Will Lindsay manage it? No. No. <laughs> no. Harder woman, harder. And it was your birthday woman. Yeah, That's yeah. why it says happy birthday. Yeah, I didn't just randomly say it's my birthday. <laughs> why do I struggle so much with... Desserts. You should just basically have ice cream or cake. I was thinking just like rice pudding or something, just something really soft. <laughs> something that you don't have to attack. Yeah. Really, really nice. You, you could have told me cream. it was on my lip. You get it. There you go. It's gone. Oh, grief. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a deconstructive cheesecake. Oh, yeah. You don't seem <laughs> absolutely impressed with that one. It was really tasty. Breakfast, you got a couple of choices in the Fitzroy. You got the um, Galvin Grill, which is where we just ate, and you got Burr and Co. So we were there for two days, so we did eat in both of them. I preferred the grill. You did? Yeah. It has a little buffet at the side that you can go help yourself to, 
But the the bring out oh you know, my teapot. You know, I mean, look at you how happy you are with a teapot. I love a teapot. Some fresh pastries right at the side of us. Yeah, I yeah. mean, they, it was good, and the black pudding and everything was really good as well, uh, wasn't it? Fantastic. Everything cooked really well. What did I? Have done? Service. I was, was going to guess. <laughs> you could have guessed. Egg Benedict. Benedict. Yeah. It's your go-to if in doubt. Two, two, as in uh, automatic serving. I wonder what will happen when Lindsay cuts them. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, they were, they were well cooked. They weren't over them. Oh, you oh, can see all the, all the corniche. The chandeliers and all these little corniches. Little interesting fact, oh, just going back to it, this more. is Burr Co, but, yeah, on the outside of the hotel, yeah. if you look right back at the start, above the main door there were four queens, which are Queen Victoria, Queen Mary the second, Queen Anne, and Queen Elizabeth. Oh, that's spooky. You and connection. Yes. Bow & Co were great. It's a fancy coffee shop with, with nice breakfast. I have another q and con connection. Go for it. you got two Eggs Benedict, which is what you get automatically on q and It is. Unlike one and being not. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah. We loved it. Another little lovely bit in there is Fitz's Cocktail Bar. As musicians live in an evening, it gets really busy. If you stay in there, you can book a, a table. Yeah. I would strongly recommend you do it because the cocktails are fantastic. We won't spoil it, but the cocktail menu you read in a very unusual way. It's almost in a Harry Potter-esque way. Very Harry Potter-esque. And that sort of brings us uh, as a close-out on, on our final thoughts, which is it is an absolute must-do if you are a cruiser. Yeah, because even though it's land-based, it's very cruisy. And pretty much perfect. Oh, there I am with my Aperol spritz. Uh, having a lovely little drink just opposite in the park. Yes. So. And that brings us to the end. So thank you for watching, everyone. Oh, cheers, Marky. Cheers, Lance. And have a lovely day.